Hi, I'm Patrick McKay, creator of FairUseTube.org, a website dedicated to promoting awareness of fair use rights under U.S. copyright law on YouTube and other user-generated video sites. I'm also a law student at Regent University School of Law. Have you ever uploaded a new video to YouTube and gone to watch it, only to see a message like this, saying that your video had been blocked because of a copyright claim by someone like Warner Music Group, which is notorious for blocking all videos on YouTube that use its songs? We will be happy to know that it is not the end of the line for your video, as you have the option to dispute the copyright claim and have your video restored. This is possible because of an exception in copyright law called fair use, which allows you to make unauthorized uses of copyrighted material for purposes such as comment, criticism, parody, and education. In addition to these specific uses, several other factors can make your video qualify for this fair use exception including if your video is 1. non-commercial, meaning you're not trying to make a profit from it, 2. transformative, meaning it alters the original work and adds new meaning and message to it, 3. uses only small or minimal amounts of the original, and 4. does not compete with the original work or serve as a substitute for it, such that it causes no harm to the market for the original work. Common types of videos on YouTube that, at least in my opinion, are likely to qualify as fair use include anime music videos and film mashups, parody videos such as political parodies using songs with satirical lyrics, filming yourself singing a copyrighted song, movie reviews using brief clips from a film, and home videos and documentary type videos capturing copyrighted material playing in the background, like a TV show playing on a TV or a song playing on the radio. For more information on how to determine if your video qualifies as fair use, please read the Guide to YouTube Removals, available at fairusetube.org. So once you've decided that your video is fair use, the next step is to file a dispute against the copyright claim on YouTube. So here I am at my YouTube homepage, and I just need to go up to my screen name, click on Videos, Favorites, and Playlists, and then from there click on Content ID Matches, which brings up a page listing all your videos with copyright problems. Now, um, I'm not actually going to file a whole copyright dispute today because none of these videos are actually being blocked, but I'll go through the steps up to the final confirmation just to show you how it's done. Uh, scroll down here to a video that I want to dispute and click on View Copyright Info. This brings up a page um, giving the basic information about your video's copyright status, whether it's blocked or not. Assuming it is, you want to say, uh, click down here, I want to learn more about the dispute process. And this gives a page um, describing the basics of filing a copyright dispute and valid and invalid reasons to dispute the claim. So assuming you've already decided your video is fair use, which is this one here, you want to go down here and click on Take Me to the Dispute Form. So once you're at the dispute form, you just select the second option here. This video uses copyright material in a manner that does not require approval of the copyright owner. It is fair use under U.S. copyright law. And then you need to type a description of why you think the video is fair use right here. So here's what I usually say. This video is fair use under U.S. copyright law because it is 1. non-commercial, 2. transformative in nature, and 3. does not compete with the original work and could have no negative effect on its market. So I'm just going to cut and paste that into the explanation box here. Uh, then type your electronic signature here. That's your real name, not your YouTube screen name and then you cut and paste the statement of good faith into this box here. So then you just click continue. And if I actually wanted to file a dispute right now, I would just click this button, submit dispute, and it would say the dispute has been submitted and it would automatically restore my video.